Learning a game engine thoroughly and how to use it is probably the most time-consuming and difficult step of game development. It requires you to sit down and devote a lot of your time on learning what exactly the engine is capable of doing, what you need to click in order to make something, and it requires a lot of dedication. And because Unity is one of the most popular game engines out there, maybe even the most popular out there, I often get this question asked on my channel. Is it worth using Unity in 2019? Well, I mean, it's New Year, it's 2019, and you know how it goes, new year, new me. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> but you know, still, I mean, as we just entered 2019, I thought that it would be a great time to answer this question. So we're gonna take a look at what Unity 2019 has promised to bring to the table as in terms of feature set and everything else. We will also discuss the kind of game you're making and your game development background. And I'll try and help you decide whether or not Unity is the one to go with this year. And I also wanna mention that this video is brought to you all by Flu Joey, Richard Stan, Cupola, Beard or Die, Make a Game, Becky Lade, Guilherme, Leandro, and Couch Ferret. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make you more videos. What, what am I saying? <laughs> Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make... <laughs> I can't. I'm able to bring you all more videos. There we go. Thank you so much. Also, before we get started, just to kind of act as a disclaimer, I guess, I'm not just going to tell you like, oh yeah, go ahead and use Unity over this engine because that would just kind of be vague, right? I think Unity is great because I've been using it for so long. So I am kind of biased when I recommend Unity, obviously. Because of that though, I don't want this to become just like a promo video for Unity, but rather something you can use to hear the weak sides of Unity, the strong sides, and then what's coming up in Unity 2019, where they are basically working on those weaker points. And speaking of weakness, something Unity has lacked for a while is a visual solution for most of the things you can already do. For instance, things like visual scripting instead of coding using C Sharp, which is the main programming language in Unity right now, and making shaders using a nodal system. So a visual solution for you who haven't used this before is usually just a nodal system, like I said before, where you have nodes that represent effects or functions and you drag a string between two of them to connect them to each other. And then you can connect multiple nodes and repeat the same step to make something more complete. Fortunately though, Unity have been working hard on creating a visual solution for most of these things that have a steep learning curve. Like now with the latest version of Unity, let's take 2018.3 as an example, because it's kind of like the latest complete and non-beta build. We basically have a tool called Shader Graph to make shaders without scripting them. And we have the VFX Graph right now to make particles and visual effects very easily without having to use complex solutions to make them. Now for visual scripting, instead of using C Sharp, it's still not in the engine as of 2018.3, but they have revealed at Unite LA, which took place in October last year, that they are actually actually working on a visual scripting solution too. They said that it should become available sometime during 2019. And visual scripting has definitely been one of the most anticipated features of Unity because a lot of people were requesting for it, if not the most actually, and finally they're working on it. And that kind of reminds me, the same thing happened to the terrain system actually. Like up until last year, we they had this old terrain system implemented in Unity and didn't even have a fully dedicated team working just on terrain. But now they got a full team of people working on just updating the terrain system, adding in a bunch of new features, and in all honesty, so far, it looks pretty promising. It seems to be something they want to do more of too, like updating all these old systems to fit the current standards of the industry. And that makes sense because it's not very attractive if they're using six to seven year old systems today without refining and polishing them, let alone adding new features on top of it. Also, one thing I strongly appreciate of everything Unity is doing right now, they're adding new features and polishing old features of all areas possible at once. Like they're not just going after 3D and dumping 2D or vice versa. They are literally going for both at the same time. They have been adding new features to 2D in 2018, such as support for scalable vector graphics or SVG files. They have added support for hexagonal and isometric tile maps on top of the normal rectangular tile map system for 2D. And they have added a full rigging 
and animation solution for 2D sprites, which is absolutely mental. So my point with this is they're not just going, yeah, let's work on 3D and not 2D as much, but literally they're taking all aspects of game development into account when they're adding new features. They're also working on something called Unity Tiny or Project Tiny, which is a solution for making web and mobile based games that are extremely small, like some megabytes in size. And that results in games loading faster across all devices, including mobile. And also speaking of updating and polishing, I'm really pumped about this, but they're also updating the skin of Unity from this old one to a new one that looks more flat, elegant, and also minimal. And don't worry, if you're a beginner to Unity right now, I don't think it will be way too hard to get a grasp on the new UI when, when they actually update. I believe they're just updating the theme, but even if they change the placement of like most buttons, it will be easy to learn about those changes. So don't let this like intimidate you from like away from using Unity right now, just because they're gonna have an update. And also you have this wonderful YouTube channel called Psycho, which is a uh, which is free to subscribe to and leave a like on his videos, please leave a like. He promised is that he will keep you updated and help you with all the changes Unity introduces during 2019 and beyond. So thanks Saiku, very cool. Now I know that we have been talking a lot about things that are coming up in 2019, but one more weak side of Unity was the lack of built-in features. Like for some things such as visual scripting and even multiplayer at some scale, you would often feel the need to get something from their asset store. And that wasn't bad in all honesty, but it just kind of made it a little bit less authentic. I guess. So now obviously they're working on the visual scripting tool, but on top of that, they're also making a whole new multiplayer system, which is going to replace the old networking solution that was called Unit. I actually have a couple of videos on this channel on this topic specifically. So if you're interested, I'll link both of these videos in the description. But now for the ultimate question of this video, should you use Unity in 2019? Uh, hold on, I need drum roll. You decide. <laughs> That was so anticlimactic. No, really, like I said at the start of this video too, I don't wanna just give you guys a yes and leave you on that. Just take everything that I said in this video into account. Ask yourself the question, is this what I'm looking for in 2019? Because all in all, Unity is working hard to bring all the features that they lacked for a long period of time. That includes visual solutions from coding to shader scripting, all the way to making like a new theme, updating old features like the terrain system, the new prefab workflow, which I didn't talk about today actually that they introduced they're working on all of these aspects that are both the core of the engine like the prefab system and stuff that are just additions to unity on top of what a game engine must have and it doesn't really matter if you're making a mobile game a desktop game or for any other platform including consoles unity will have a bunch of built-in tools you can use to make your games in the easiest way possible and they have proven that by adding in these new things like a lot of people used to think unity is just for mobile because people thought that Unity couldn't have good graphics and boom, they bring us the scriptable render pipelines and the high definition render pipeline or HDRP, which is a template for realistic games to use. And then people go, well, I mean, Unreal looks unreal. It's an old joke, stop it. So an easy answer is, if you're interested to use a game engine that's drastically growing and that gives you the basics and lets you build everything on top of that, I think Unity will be a great choice for you. Using Unity, you don't really have any like, for instance, you don't have any standard post-processing added. You don't get these ridiculous graphics as soon as you create a new scene. It just basically gives you the easy to use tools and features you can use to make it look really good. But it doesn't hold your hand and throw you there. And some people usually ask like, well, why aren't they doing it? My, I want my game to look like Red Dead Redemption 2 when I open up the new scene. Well, that's because they want it to be standardized to whatever game you're making. Like no matter if you're making a low poly game, a mobile game, cartoon, or a AAA looking game with insane graphics, the engine should be just as easy to use for all styles. And that is kind of where it is right now as an engine. Like take a look at my speed level designs, not, not just for promotion's sake, but I can literally make something that looks real nice nice with high visual fidelity almost just as quickly as I can make a low poly scene with cartoonish post-processing. It's actually mind-blowing how intuitive it is to use this engine to make literally whatever you want. Like when they say your mind and creativity is the only ceiling and the only limit, they actually mean it. 
So that's my answer to this question, at least. I hope I was successful in, in my goal to not just give you guys a yes and move on, because I really wanted to like describe the situation, how the engine is shaped right now, and what's coming in the near future. And if you, <laughs> I just said future instead of future. <laughs> well, great, that means I'm gonna be stuck saying future instead of future for a while, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Now, most importantly though, if you wish to add something to what I said, discuss with others, or if, you're, if you seek further help on if you should use unity or not let us know your questions in the comment section of this video we're very active and like to help out so make yourself at home also don't forget that we have a discord server with over 9200 members right now i think i think i never know the number for these videos god damn it my planning is so bad oh it's actually 9199 seriously if you join i'll buy you a cookie is that a deal and obviously the link to that is in the description box of this video so make sure to join and if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up to show some support and hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all of my videos this year and beyond because we have some really cool tutorials planned for you guys on top of our current series that we are running of Beginner's Guide to Unity where we learn the basics of each and every future of Unity. Future? God damn it. <laughs> now I'm mixing them up. Where we learn the basics of each and every future of Unity. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to be very active in the comment section and in our Discord server tonight. Night. So I hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching and have a good night. Peace out guys. Rain.